Hello again, everyone. So, recently I was browsing the internet and I was looking at different dog articles and I came across the top 10 worst dog breeds. So, I absolutely had to click on that. Now, knowing that we have Chihuahuas and knowing that they have a bad stereotype, I knew they'd make the list. But what I didn't realize was that on this particular article, they would full on take the cake. They are number one. So, um, we're going to go through this list. We'll look at the Chihuahua part mostly, but just for entertainment purposes, we'll look at some of the other dogs too. Disclaimer, I don't think any of the dogs on this list are bad. I think the whole list is just ridiculous and stupid. And so yeah, just for entertainment purposes, let's check this out. So, number one, Chihuahua. This is the only dog breed I genuinely hate. They have the worst personalities, are difficult to train, and they kind of look like rats. Not to mention, they're ridiculously expensive. So, oh man, this is hilarious. So, I, I feel like we need to remember what a rat looks like again, and then compare. Let's Come here! Where'd you go? There you are! Okay, so... This is their smallest. Do you look like a rat? I don't think she looks like a rat. If she does, she's the cutest rat I have ever seen. Mwah. So, on to the next one. They're ridiculously expensive. Yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, it, de it depends on the breeder you find. When I was looking at dogs after my first draw passed away, they ranged anywhere from like $300 to like $1,400. It was ridiculous. They are difficult to train. Lily, I mean, she loves training. She loves doing tricks, and Bella's the same exact way. And then Gracie's our rescue dog, and she's coming off her shell some more, and she's really seeming to like training as well. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I worked for a very nice but ditzy lady who has three of these. They never shut up, piss and crap all over the house. They bite, they growl and snap, they lunge, they are just really aggressive. And I swear they would never stop barking. All I heard while working for her was yaps. Don't buy these. Next one. I didn't know these were so bad until today. I was walking my dog on a leash and there was this unleashed chihuahua in the front yard. My dog normally barks a lot, but this time she didn't. And that little pest came running over and started attacking her. My dog may be loud, but she has never, ever been in a fight before. She was, she was a friendly beagle dog, even another dog in leash that once followed her. That dog was too big, there was no drama. I'm worried this scarred her for life, and now she won't want to be around other dogs. People should just stop breeding these dogs. Man, that's harsh. So I, I can't totally disagree with this person because last summer, I was on a bike ride with my mom, and I actually had Lily with in a little basket in the front. And I had never encountered this until that day. And I always hear people talking about it. A chihuahua came tearing out of somebody's garage, just full force, barking, yapping, its little head off, chasing us down the street. Then the best part was we were on the other side of the street. Like we were nowhere even close to this house. So it was so ridiculous. I still remember like turning around to like see it. And I just, I just saw its little legs like aggressively running at us. Um, yeah, that was ridiculous. And that pisses me off because it's dogs like that that make chihuahuas look so bad and give them these terrible reputations. Here's a bad one. I work in a shelter and most of the small dogs there are chihuahuas. There are only a couple sweet ones there. The rest are very skittish and mean. And I've never seen them go at people for no reason. They bark nonstop and just aren't smart. Nice. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna X out of this. Oh, here's a chihuahua, chihuahua fan. Anyways, so I just think this all comes down to the owners. I am in chihuahua groups on Facebook and like literally, you will not see any posts about these people training their dogs. All they do is baby them. And yes, I love to baby my chihuahuas too, but I also train them and I work with them. And I found a great trainer that will get on me if I start to mess up at all. 
oh, I have this cute small little dog. Like, it's not going to, you know, it's not like a working dog on a farm or anything. So what do I need to train it for? Well, you need to train it so it doesn't turn into a little asshole. That's why you need to train it. And that's why they have such bad reputations. Ours are by nowhere near perfect. I have to work with them every day. But, I mean, they're calm. I can walk Lily around the stores. She's well behaved. She doesn't bark or growl at anyone. She loves little kids. She always wants to go up to little kids. But I've also worked with her a lot. I've, I've taken her to training since she was four months old. So, and it's been nonstop ever since. I have now been to three different training facilities with Lily and over the course of three years and I think I've seen a Chihuahua like twice and we literally train non-stop. Like we literally go to a, a training facility once a week and you hardly ever see any small dogs in general but let alone a Chihuahua that's like it's it's crazy. I always thought I would run into like other Chihuahua owners and like it just doesn't happen and it needs to. More people need to start training their Chihuahuas um, and training them like dogs so this kind of stuff stops happening and the stereotype hopefully goes away one day. Anywho, let's look at the others just for fun. So, second, American Pitbull Terrier. That's a given. Those guys have been... They've, they've had it rough also with the stereotypes. Rottweiler. Chow Chow. I don't really know much about them. Before. Oh my god! Alaskan Malmute? What? Hey, we're in good company here. I follow Sherpa on YouTube. <laughs> he seems like a gem. There's nothing wrong with him. Uh, but all the comments in here are, uh, people are defending them. They are the best dogs. Why in the world would anyone ever say they're horrible? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they would make this list. I don't know why any of these dogs would make this list. I mean, I get the chihuahuas with the yapping, and you always hear about them, the ankle biting and stuff like that. But a Dalmatian, like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Doberman. German Shepherds. Wow. Huh. Fun fact, I actually grew up with German Shepherds. My, uh, my grandfather was a Chicago police officer, so he always had German Shepherds. Thus, my mom grew up with German Shepherds. And um, when we'd go to their house, like I have little pictures of me as, as a baby sitting on the floor with them. And then when my family got our first dog, it was German Shepherd. And somehow we went totally opposite. <laughs> I would not mind having a large dog again. An Afghan hound. Commodore. Spanish Mastiff. Boxer. I've been around boxers before. They seem fine. Never heard of it. A pug. What did a pug ever do to make this list? Mine is great with my kids and very playful, but other than that, he's the worst real jerk. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Akita! Come on. Okay, you know this list is crap because at number 24 we have a Golden Retriever. Come on. Everybody likes Golden Retrievers. Oh my gosh. I hate these dogs. They are overrated for being intelligent. Probably the dopest dogs ever. They're extremely food motivated. That's why they learn things, not because they are really smart. They would jump off a cliff into a pit of fire for a begging strip. Oh my god. Some people are crazy. Wow. Here. Come here, come here, come here. Yes. Come here, my little rat. Come here. Oh. So, that's that for today. I just found that article and I thought I would share it with you guys because I thought it was really stupid and, and also funny at the same time. Actually, it really wasn't even an article. I don't, I don't really know what this is. It's just a list, just a random list somebody made, but the author didn't even, like, write anything, so people just commented in. Mm. 
Here is my 100% Chihuahua who has been through many trainings and you have made me so proud, Bo. So anyways, I hope this was entertaining for you because it was definitely entertaining for me today. And if you have a dog that made this list, let me know. Are they really that bad? I don't think so. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.